Today I'm going to show you how I created this continue button for ChatGPT. When clicked, it should prompt ChatGPT to continue providing information. Let's look at the prompt that we'll be using. The first part of the prompt is asking ChatGPT to create a button with these attributes. The second part of the prompt is asking ChatGPT to locate an element so we can place this button on. Then we ask ChatGPT to locate the text area and when the button is pressed, it should type in continue and send the command. Okay, now that we have our code, let's copy the code, right click, select inspect, and now let's go down here to the console and paste the code. Now hit enter. Okay, so now let's check. Um, it doesn't look like our button is here. Um, so there's something wrong with the code. Looks like in this area here is where ChatGPT should be inserting the button, but it doesn't seem to be doing so. so Let's go back into inspect and see if we can provide ChatGPT with the right element. So let's right click inspect and we're going to hit this little arrow button here on the top left. So we're going to select the area we need the button to be added to. And then we're going to head over to the right side where it's highlighted. Then we're going to right click and select edit as HTML. And let's just grab this little area right here. We're just going to take a part of it and paste this into ChatGPT. But first I'm going to type in, this is the element where the button should be. And then I'm going to paste the code. So it looks like ChatGPT is providing us with partial code. It's inserting the button on the element we provided. So let's uh, copy this code, um, right click, inspect, and let's paste this code inside the console. And it looks like we have our button there on the left. Um, when you click on it, nothing happens. So let's ask ChatGPT to provide us with the full code. Okay, so now let's copy the code. Refresh the page. Right click, select inspect. Go to the console paste the code, hit enter. So let's test this button by asking ChatGPT to list five names. Now let's click the button. Um, it looks like it worked, but ChatGPT did not continue providing names. Uh, let's test it with something else. Let's start a new chat and ask ChatGPT to provide test code. Then we'll test the button. Okay, now let's click on continue and it's working. Another way you can use this code is to save it as a bookmark as some of you mentioned. So I figure I'll show the process for those who don't know how to do that. And for anyone that doesn't want to just constantly paste the code into the console or create a plugin out of this, this will be one of the ways that would help you accomplish that. So let's open up a new chat window and let's paste in the code. And then we're going to type in, I need to make this a bookmarklet. Please update the code. Okay, now let's copy the code. And now let's click on the favorites icon here. And then we're going to click on more. For name, I'm just going to type in continue. And for the URL, I'm going to delete this and I'm just going to paste the code inside. Now let's hit save. So now let's click on the bookmark we just created. And once we click on it, this should run the code and we should see the button. Now let's test the button to see if it works. And it's working. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to show you is how you can make this into a Chrome plugin. Let's open a new chat window and let's paste in the code. Then we're going to type, I need to make this into a Chrome plugin. Please provide the list of files that I would need for this. Note, I would need to create the plugin 
with as little files as possible so I will not need a popup.html. So ChatGPT has provided us with three files, a manifest.json, a content script.js, and the background.js. It also provided us with the code for the manifest.json, but it doesn't have the proper URL. So let's type the site that this should work on is, then paste the website link. Now let's request the rest of the files. Now let's save the files. Now let's go into our Chrome extensions webpage, click on load unpacked and select your project folder. Looks like I have a typo with content script.js. So let's go into Visual Studio and fix that. Okay, now let's go back and hit retry. Okay, now that our plugin is loaded, let's go back into ChatGPT and take a look. Okay, so there's our button. And now when we click on it, it's working. So that's it. We just completed our continue button and I have shown you three ways in which you can choose to incorporate it. I hope this helps someone. If you like this content, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.